All right, good morning, everybody. Thank you for joining me. Good to see you, Sam Peterson in the house. Marsha, good to have you guys. Uh, we're gonna dive into the Daily Creative Challenge, all about symmetrical design, which is kind of like what's going on in the background here, okay? So we're talking about design symmetry, using the symmetry tool, uh, and then using a number of other techniques. So uh, it's good to have you here. I'm gonna go ahead and switch over. Uh, we'll get this party started. So happy Thursday to everyone. Um, let's do this right now. I'm just gonna turn on all the stuff and show you my screen right now. So again, welcome wherever this day may find you. Hopefully you guys are doing well. What's up, Joseph? Good to have you here. Mary, feel free to do a shout out. I love saying hello to everyone. Ted, Malik, Susan, awesome. Good morning. Good to have you here. Hello, Carol Plural. Awesome. So yeah, this is what we're working on. Symmetrical design. You know where the URL is. So just go to challenge, the challenge tab. Uh, we'll get into some beautiful symmetrical artwork using smart objects and the symmetry tool is the plan. Get started with that file right there. Bam, you'll see. Uh, and I did this a couple weeks ago in um, uh, as part of my master class, uh, my Friday master class from 10.30 to 11.30, or excuse me, 9.30 to 10.30 uh, Pacific time. Uh, so nonetheless, just go ahead, symmetrical design, get started. This is the file you'll work on. Oh, it's so beautiful. Thank you, Sam, for posting that. In fact, let me just grab this link really fast. And yeah, there we go. Okay, we got it. Cool. Here's the file. Let's open it up and let's get this party started. Good afternoon from Wales. Ah, Wales, can I go there, please? Uh, I'm here in beautiful Colorado. It's actually very nice out today, just so you know. Hopefully it's good and beautiful out where you are. Uh, so... Yeah, I, I, I'm going to go really fast. So, Karma, to answer your question, I'm, I'm going to do my best in this scenario. But if you take away even one thing, it's going to totally be worth it. There's a number of assets in here. Again, we've been doing everything based on quotes this week's week. Feet, why do I need you for... Excuse me. Let me do that again. Feet, what do I need you for when I have wings to fly? So, Frida Kahlo inspired design. This is not Frida. Again, Frida Kahlo inspired. I didn't have the rights to use an actual Frida image, uh, but we have a number of layers right in here, and we have that quote at the bottom. And then we have this beautiful folder with all these lovely flowers in here, which is great. Okay, so that's going to be really fun. But really, I'm going to just start with, you know, a blank layer right here. And this is where I'm going to use the symmetry tool, like so. Boom. Right, just naming it as just so. I'll go in and select uh, my brush and let's just reset that tool up here at the top. I'm just gonna keep this very simple right now. Okay, I'm just gonna have a hard round brush. That's not gonna be very big, 13 pixels. Cool. Uh, good weather at last. Uh, Uh, so, Mary, where do you live? I'm kind of curious if it's gray there. You mentioned that. I'm just always kind of curious. Good morning, Patty. All right, so have that layer selected. I have my brush. We're going to go ahead and paint in pink. Why not? And right up here, here's the symmetry tool added uh, about a year, maybe two years ago now. And you have a number of symmetry options that you can work with. So this just gets fun to play around with. And that's what we're going to do initially is just play around with it. Right? We can go to the vertical. Right? We'll start with that one initially. What you get here is you get this simple line that you can scale up. You want to scale from the center. Hold down the option key. Right? Or alt key if you're on a PC. Hit enter. What's made there, by the way, is right over here we have this vertical symmetry uh, path right? That's made. So keep that in mind. Mary's in Scotland. Of course you are in a beautiful place, man. I don't know. I think it'd be awesome to go there. I need to go there for sure. All right. So now I can just kind of come in here and start painting. I typically think that the smaller the uh, brush, kind of the cooler look you get, but I'll go like maybe a touch larger just so everybody can see it. We can see what the symmetry a brush does. And this is what typically people will do, right? We'll kind of go through and create these fun you know, designs. You get the idea. I get it. You're not, you might not be that impressed. That was the simplest of all of them. Guess what? I can go back up here to the top. Horizontal, dual axis, diagonal, a circle, spiral. This is really fun. I like mandala. Okay, so radial will 
uh, give you the same graphics uh, across however many radials you pick. Mandala will mirror it. So I really like Mandala. So we'll go into this. Mandala. Mandala symmetry. Oh, no. Give me like eight. Let's crank this up and have some fun. Click OK. Bam. There we are. Keep in mind, outside of this line right here, if, I, if, if this doesn't extend all the way out, it's not going to mirror in this area, just so you know. Mandala. Here we go. Named after Nelson Mandala. Just kidding. Uh, always wind a clock in New Zealand. I know, right? Crazy. Yep, you got it. I've been getting into tiki drinks myself. I've been learning how to make tiki drinks, and it's been really fun for me. All right, well, let's paint with pink again. And again, come in here. Uh, smaller lines are better, right? Four pixels, right? Just come in here. And the more intricate you get, just the cooler it ends up looking, right? Kind of, kind of looks like bones right now. But we could do something like that. Maybe flip those colors. Um, and then kind of do another, a different color on the inside right here. And again, just playing with that particular look, as you can see. Super easy, super fun. Uh, Jason Rose, what's a tiki drink? Um, I don't know, kind of invented after World War II, people coming back, at least in the U.S., coming back from... Uh, like Asia and Hawaii and stuff. Um, I, I could I could have this wrong. I'm not an expert. Uh, basically, they're very fruity drinks with a lot of sugar and rum. <laughs> so that's why they're delicious. I mean, how could you screw that up? <laughs> right? But again, super fun as we start to play with this. Shoo, 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 shoo. This is just a simple line and we could have a blast with it. Right? Camille, that's what I was waiting for. I was just waiting for a so cool. Right? Thank you so much for that. I appreciate it. Uh, I'm going to actually add another layer, and I think this will be really fun. You ready for this? This brush is kind of fun. Honestly, it's, the brush is fine. It's not that exciting, right? Let's go into, and by the way, check this out. Ooh, there we are. Here's my different paths, uh, and uh, yeah, just to keep that in mind, uh, my symmetry appears in the paths panel. We know that I'll be painting with this one right here, because that's the one that's selected. But let's turn on these flowers, and let's just kind of... Let's just get rid of this actually all together like that. Uh, let's go to these flowers. You ready to check this out? We're gonna make a brush. You ready, Mary? Oh, I'm so excited for this. Let's grab um, this, this flower and check this out. I can always hold down the option key, oh, excuse me, a command key, command key and then click and it will open up and select that particular layer, flower 12. I would never know that in a million years. Is that flower 12? I don't know. Command click. You can also come over to, remember if I'm out like this, to this layer and say, hey, what flower is this? Holding down the option key, click zoom. And zoom, 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 zoom. Just bouncing around to those different layers. Okay, so again, just a quick way to view it. Since I have this layer selected, I could just do a command click on that layer, command click, Control click if you're on a PC, and it will select that layer contents, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this into a brush so we could paint with it, because I think it'd be really fun to do that. Um, we'll go up to edit, right down here, define brush preset, cool. Muriel, oh good, Mary's following along, awesome. Define brush preset, and based on what's selected, here's my uh, fun flower, because I think this is going to be fun, right? Click OK. Boom. Just created this brush, okay? So I can come over here, maybe close that, turn that off, Command-0, right? Go to, go to a new layer, and you can see it creates this flower based on my color that I have selected over here. You get it. Let's have some a little bit more fun with that. You ready for this? Because this will work for my symmetry tool, right? So I'll go up here. Uh, we want to do a mandala. Uh, let's do six because I need like a little bit more room and extend this out Zoop. like that and now we can come in here and as we click we can see we can make these uh, different flowers right they're all kind of putting them actually at the same angle and all that good stuff Hawa are the flower flowers royalty free they exactly are so if you go to file new just to show you where I got them because I did not make them go into um, well, there's art and there's they're, they're free assets, free templates. Check this out. Floral and plant scene, right? That's where you can grab them from. Uh, I might have gotten mine from, I don't know where I got mine. Photo? I don't know where I, they were. <laughs> they're in here somewhere. 
Um, but nonetheless, that's where I got it. And you can see that there's this one right here, flower and plants, right? Got that done. Let's have some more fun with this. Uh, let's play with the color. Now I could go in and I can change the color each time. Let's change it to our hot pink, right? And we can click right in here like that, right? We could do that, but I wanna change the color and the angle every time I click. So this is gonna be really fun as well. We'll go into brush settings. This is bonus material, cause it's kind of beyond um, uh, what we can do, uh, you know, uh, kind of goes beyond. So angle jitter, right? Let's just take a look right down here. We could get that little thumbnail. Angle jitter, it's just gonna go ahead and change. Um, each time the angle is gonna change. We're gonna go into color dynamics as well. And we can bounce between the foreground and background, right? I'm taking that up to 100%. So let's clear out those flowers. And now let's have fun clicking. Oh, jeez. Oh, see, I have very similar colors right now. So let's get a different color in here so we could see and just noticed a, a bigger variety. Click. Let's make that a little smaller. It's bouncing uh, between uh, those colors. And I can always go in. I want to crank this more into the reds make that just a sort of a more reddish hot pink color and you can see what we're getting there and i can always i can vary this as much as i want okay so you guys get the idea hopefully you like that encourage you to create something awesome right using a brush and i think it's pretty fun okay <sighs> okay um if the symmetry isn't there just make sure you have the latest version of photoshop because it is a newer feature so uh if, hopefully you're a creative cloud member uh, make sure Photoshop is updated in your apps. Zoop, zoop, right there, okay? Also, here's, a, thank you for bringing that because chances are it is there, uh, but you need to make sure that you have, right over here, that you have a brush selected and not a mixer brush. So this is the tool it works for, the brush. If you have mixer brush, you'll go up here and you'll realize it's not there. So make sure you just have your standard brush selected and you create something fun like that. Let's get Frida involved. There she is. Uh, can you paint with a gradient? I'm not sure what you mean there exactly. Um, the answer is probably no. I think after the fact I can apply a gradient. Um, but there's usually one, only one color you can pick uh, per time, okay? So here's Frida. Um, this is what I'll do a lot of time. Uh, I'll take this, like this wing, for instance, right? And um, I could do actually a couple things. Let's do this. Actually, you know what? I, mean, I, have, the, I have this, let me actually turn off the, some of that symmetry stuff. I have these flowers. I have this wing as well. Uh, I'm actually gonna do a Command T to bring up transform, I'm gonna flip horizontal. I'm gonna put everything on one side, okay? Just like that. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the wing and all of the flowers, all of this stuff, all these layers, and I'm gonna take them all and convert them to a smart object. So I wanna have one smart object that's then duplicated and flipped, and that's gonna give me my symmetry. So convert to smart object, just like that. This will be, uh, one side, so left side, we should say left side. Let's take it out of the flowers folder, boop. Like that, drop that down. Um, and uh, if I do a Command T, why am I, Command T, why? Uh, Okay, here we go. So let's turn her on. There's Frida. If I wanna find the exact center, cause that's what I wanna do next, go to view, go down to new guide layout. And I use this to just give it one column and one row. If I do that, uh, why am I not? Oh, two columns, two col <laughs> sorry. Two columns, two rows, one divider is what I meant. One divider, that gives me those crosshairs right in the middle. Two and two, columns and rows, that's in the center. And I can visually center her, and I can take this left side right here, Command T, it's gonna butt right up against that like so, right? And then I can take this, Command J to jump it, and now we can have our fun right side, boom. Nothing new here, right? Boom, we got that. Command T, flip horizontal, move this to the other side right on that line. And now we have uh, the start of a fun design. We only have to change it once. It's gonna change everywhere. Uh, 
Yes, and get into that detail about masks. Thank you for that. Uh, you get it. Okay, so um, I can always hide those lines, Command H. But now what I can do is I can jump into this smart object. I can move this off to the side, right, like so. And then I can start uh, playing with it. So uh, from here, I notice actually there's some flowers behind this, but I'll move this up here like that. I'll make sure that wing is right there and I'll start moving these objects. This doesn't happen in real time, but as soon as I save it, we'll see it update right over here. So you just saw it update like so. Um, and that's what I do at this point, kind of move these flowers in like that, move this one over, oops. Uh, Command T will select that layer. Oh, excuse me, Command click will select that layer, Command T, saving it, we'll watch it change right down here, boop, there it changes. And I can start to see that maybe this needs to be out a little further and I'll just do all my various adjustments to get a nice uh, sort of symmetry action. I did a left and right, you could do upper left, upper right, lower left, lower right as well. Um, you get the idea. So this is working out pretty well. Um, we also have a bunch of tools, obviously, under custom shape tool that, tools that I might want to integrate as well. Uh, so right in here, I can grab any one of these. I actually might want to, you know, let's not even worry about any of that. Well, let's just grab a straight up ellipse and draw from the very center. We want to keep that perfectly symmetrical. We're going to draw from the center. We're going to hold down the option key. It's going to constrain it, right? So it, it expands from the center and then to constrain it is the shift key. And we can go ahead and make that nice circle like so, okay? From there, we can kind of put that back there and play with this a little bit more. So does it work on either side? So it is, it is actually applying to both sides, just so you know, which is nice. Uh, for this ellipse, by the way, I just want to add a stroke to it that I will uh, make a lovely, I don't know, a pink or even grab some of that uh, sort of pinkish color from those flowers like that. Click OK and take the fill all the way down to zero, right? So that's how I just made this nice little circle. What if you don't want your other wing affected? That's a great point because... Um, I will sometimes end up breaking it apart, right? So um, that's what that's what you could always do. If you don't want it to be, um, say I have this right side, let's just duplicate it so I don't ruin it. Right over here, if we don't if we want to break the linkage, it means right clicking and converting it to layers. So it's no longer a smart object. Clicking right there, it'll go through. Um, and you can see it doesn't retain the smart object capabilities, so it it gets rid of it gets rid of any transforms that you did. Okay, just so you just so you understand. Okay, another way of doing that, if you don't, you could also just rasterize this layer, and now it's all on one layer, but it's definitely broken from that smart object, right? Just so you know. Hopefully that makes sense. We have this lovely circle. Um, we could throw in a triangle there and just do some fun stuff, shall we? I don't know. I just, I, I, I apologize for sometimes. Uh, let's go three sides. Shoot, there we are. Okay, here's our triangle using a polygon tool, right? And by the way, right down here, let's move me to the other side. Um, we have custom shape tools in there. There's a triangle in there, but you could just use a polygon, right? Again, just dealing with these symmetrical shapes. Uh, clicking on the um, canvas will give me the measurements. I'm going to click Cancel, Command H, just like I was doing before, and I can kind of draw out from the center, holding down. Actually kind of go on kind of like that. Boom, there we are. You get it, just making a hipster design. How are you guys doing? How do I get all these custom shapes? All the custom shapes, by the way, let's go in here. Custom Shape Tool. We'll go up to the top, this gives me my current shape, click out right here, and you're probably asking about all of these. Guess what, you have access to all these as well. Uh, if you go to this flyout menu, whoa, hello. Let's click right here. I take that back, that's not in there, fascinating. Oh, fascinating, okay, ready for this? Window, shapes, here are the same shapes right in here, okay? Click on this flyout menu from the shapes panel and you can add legacy shapes and more. And that's how you're gonna get all that good stuff, right? So Mia, that's how you do it. 
and now I have a number of elements that I can work with, even, uh, you know, some various flowers, which might work in this case, right? So you get the idea, selecting what you want, and then, you know, drawing out that particular element, like I'm doing right now. Wait for it, wait for it. It might be a little much, I get it. I might wanna take down the opacity a little bit because I'm slowly running out of time, but we're definitely getting a symmetrical design uh, right in here, as you can see, okay? Is this making sense for everybody? Uh, so yeah, all those new shapes are now in Photoshop. We made shapes a first-class citizen by giving it its own panel, which is nice. Um, uh, so that's the idea. Here's just a design tip, by the way. I, I got all these colors. There's bright colors, and then there's kind of some muted taupe colors. So the design isn't really tied together yet. So actually what I would do here for, say, Frida, for instance, I would come up and I would add a black and white adjustment layer, and I would just clip it. Let's zoom in. Zoop. Option key. Make a clipping mask. Boom. So it just affects her, right? And then I'd kind of play with the the contrast, um, basically the, the black and white uh, of that. I would probably duplicate that and uh, apply it to the, um, the different wings as well, right? You get the idea. Hopefully everybody's having a wonderful day. We got a full schedule today uh, that I'm gonna take a look at in a second. Again, just made that black and white, start to play with the colors, increase that contrast is really what I wanna do. Um, but let's go back in here. Ooh, that's my final version, sorry. Wait for it. There we go, something like that. This black and white just makes it more of a, um, is that keyboard shortcut for layers like in Illustrator bring forward? There, There is a keyboard uh, shortcut for bringing to front. Um, like if I wanted this floral ornament to the top, shift command, and then if I press the uh, closing bracket, it brings it to the top. Um, opening bracket, so the one on the left and right, hold down to command and shift, and it'll kind of, you could also, if you don't have, let's see, let's see yeah. if you don't hold down uh, the shift key, you could just hold down command and open and close brackets and it rifles through uh, the different layers, right? So you get the idea, cool. That's kind of where we're at with this. Um, and let's not forget our fun design in the background. It's a little intense, <laughs> it's a lot intense, hello, right? Um, I would definitely need to work on this a little bit more just so you know. Um, Cool, uh, down to our last minute. Um, the rest is just like kind of design stuff. Uh, let's actually bring up our flowers. I think our flowers did did us more justice, right? A lot is going on here. Again, I'd still play with this some more uh, to get this the way I like it. You know, shrink her down and get some of this content aligned a little bit more appropriately. Making sure that that kind of fits together. Like so, cool. You get the idea. Um, that's kind of what I would end up with. Something like that. It's a little crazy. The final version does look like this, just so you know. There's uh, there's my final. I actually just posted it to um, Instagram, just so you know. And um, you can see me walk on. It's just P-T-R-A and I. Uh, so that's the, that's the final version, adding that black and white, all that symmetry. And then honestly, just curating after a while. So hopefully you like it. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. You've been beautiful. Love you. I hope uh, to see you soon, actually tomorrow. So stay tuned. I'm going to leave you with the schedule. Thanks so much, everyone.